All right, let's get cooking. What's the hurry? This cute kitty looks fine. She's been limping, and Maja's not a kitty. She's a ferocious tiger. Okay. Wouldn't want to keep a tiger or an eager keeper waiting now, would we? There are maybe 400, 500 wild Sumatran tigers left. It kills me. No, she's been very calm. I, I don't think she hurt herself playing. Ferocious. She's eaten all her meals this week. She was limping on her left hind leg for the past week, and it seemed worse this morning. Not so ferocious now, thank goodness. I'd be limping too. Just what we don't want to see. Now we can see what we can't see, if that makes sense. There we go. Don't need that anymore. That gets rid of some of our worries. It's decision time again. Quite a few ways to give antibiotics. What should we give her? No infection yet, and now there won't be. Sumatran tigers are as small as they get. Small at 200 pounds. I would hate waking up in pain, and so would she. Now our ferocious tiger is back to growling with the rest of them. I guess she's not that ferocious now that she's gotten older. She's still cute. She's not. Yeah, she is kind of cute. Masha's claws had grown too long, and one had grown into the pad under her foot. Older cats may not scratch on logs as often as they should to keep their claws trimmed to prevent this problem. If Andrew hadn't noticed it, the claw would have grown until it touched the foot bones, leading to severe infection. With trimmed claws, she should stop limping in a few days. You identified the problem and gave the appropriate diagnosis. Nice work! You have a perfect understanding of this patient's history. You covered every step with panache.